Police responded to reports of gunfire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. This all happening here in about the last 15 minutes when the call was went out that there were shots fired at a school. As soon as the fire drill got pulled, the fire alarm got pulled, and kids were evacuating, I heard five pops. And I was like, that's not a drill. I was like, and we never did a drill like that. There, a shooter, who is now in custody, opened fire on defenseless students and teachers. 17 people lost their lives. Uh, 12 people within the building. Uh, two people just outside the building one person out on Pine Island Road, and two people lost their lives uh, in the hospital. How could this ever happen in this country? How could this happen in this state? Uh, this is a state that is focused on keeping all of our children safe. You come to the conclusion this is just absolutely pure evil. Are you Nicholas Jacob Cruz? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sir, you are charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. He uh, went loaded with an AR-15 rifle. He had uh, additional ammunition with him um, during a, and shot 17 individuals. Cannot we acknowledge in this country that we can't, we cannot accept this. I can't do it, Wolf, I'm sorry. We can't do it, yeah. Pups. All right. Uh, uh, Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. Before I get started on what I would like to say about the uh, horrific mass murders that occurred in Florida, I would like to rattle off what I like to call my predictable list of reactions when it comes to United States domestic terrorist incidents. All right, here we go. A crazed gunman commits horrific school shooting. Check. The nation shocked at horrific school shooting. Check. The news reports horrific school shooting. Check. The president comments on horrific school shooting. Check. The news interviews kids who witnessed horrific school shooting. Check. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims of horrific school shooting. Check. The news interviews heroes who saved people at the horrific school shooting. Check. Balloon, teddy bear, and candlelight vigils for the victims of horrific school shooting. Check. The news puts out photos of crazed gunmen looking weird and scary. Check. The news interviews kids who knew the crazed gunman, and they say what a weird and scary kid he was. Check. Because crazed gunmen commits horrific school shooting, banning assault rifles and guns with high-capacity magazines becomes the hot topic. Check. People buy assault rifles and guns with high-capacity magazines by the boatload, thinking they are going to be banned. Check. Gun sales and gun stocks go through the roof. The NRA and gun companies are having orgasms. Check. The president refuses to address gun control issues or propose any type of gun control laws because he's in bed with the NRA. Check. Legislators and lawmakers can't agree on background checks, mental health issues, and other laws that can make guns harder to get. Check. No one wants to acknowledge the issue of white male domestic terrorism and how it is worse than ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and the MS-13 gangs. Check. After years of school shootings, this country hasn't learned a damn thing. Check. And after a few months, the issue goes away because nobody really wants to do anything about it until another horrific school shooting by a crazed gunman happens again and we repeat the same thing, which is the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. Al-Qaeda is laughing at the United States. ISIS is laughing at the United States. 
every terrorist group on the planet is laughing at the United States because they finally figured out we've been doing it all wrong. We don't have to worry about flying airplanes into buildings. We don't have to worry about blowing up buses and cars. And we don't have to worry about becoming suicide bombers because the United States in all of its violent, decadent glory will destroy itself. We don't have to do it. All we have to do is wait and we can just pick up the pieces after these idiots just slaughter each other by the boatload. You elected a moron for president of the United States. You elected a moron who is so deep in the bed with the NRA that he cannot say anything regarding gun legislation, gun control, or even come up with a shred of gun control legislation because his buddy buddies at the NRA are going to look at him as a sellout. And he doesn't want to be looked at as a sellout. So his special interest group buddies and that includes his buddies in the house and the senate are going to do everything they can to make sure not one lick of gun legislation is passed in this country because if they did we would find out exactly how many unstable white boys there are in the United States of America that have access to guns and will take those guns and shoot up schools shoot up churches they will blow up buildings they will do everything that we swear those people of color that come from those shithole countries do and we've got a bigger problem in this country that those people of color from those shithole countries could ever produce it gets to a point that when as adults you cannot come up with some type of bipartisan legislation that you cannot agree on something that will keep these kids and these babies from being slaughtered that makes you absolutely stupid. It makes you absolutely useless. And the only thing that is saving your necks is that a lot of people who swear by Donald Trump, who swear that Donald Trump is looking out for their best interests, who swear that Donald Trump is thinking about them, don't understand that Donald Trump doesn't give a shit about you people. Donald Trump told you everything you wanted to hear to get elected. He played up to every every racist paranoid person in the United States of America and that is what got him over and now that he has inherited the highest office in the country he does not know what to do with it he never wanted to be president all he wanted to do is win and now in just one year this man has thrown this country into absolute turmoil and you idiots you Idiots who still think that Donald Trump is going to look out for you have to be the stupidest people in the United States. All 37% of you, you are the only people who support this idiot, even though he is selling you down the river. President Obama and Vice President Biden were only trying to put some type of legislation on the books that would make extended background checks a reality, mental health issues a reality, anything that would exclude somebody who had mental health issues, who had a violent past, who had a criminal history from getting their hands on weapons. And these Republicans fought him every single step of the way. And now you have what you have. And when the Republicans can only stand up and tell you, that the issue isn't guns, the issue is mental health. Well, if the issue is mental health and President Obama was trying to address mental health, why did you fight him on that issue? Now, you know the uh, MO of the Wake Up Report. You know that mainly I deal with things that uh, affect black people and the black community because I honestly feel that uh, you have to address your own people before you can address somebody else's people because we all have more than enough problems in our respective communities that we can tackle those problems before we point the finger at somebody else and say, well, what about them? Or, you know, black people's favorite white people, they do it too. We don't need to go there. So what I'm telling you, white America, is you got a problem. 
You got a problem and you need to address it. You need to address your lawmakers. You need to address your legislators. You need to address your president because it isn't black kids that are being slaughtered by the boatload in school. It's your white kids and it's being done by your white kids. And if somebody doesn't stand up and have the guts to address the issue of domestic terrorism and why so many white males pick up these guns and slaughter these kids, you are going to keep doing this over and over again, which, like I said earlier, is the definition of insanity. So, Mr. FBI agent, you boo-hoo and cry all you want. Oh, why is this happening? It was a child of God. Why is it happening? When you were working with the FBI, you should have done something about it because you knew it was going on and you didn't do anything about it. To the governor of Florida who gets on television and says, why is this happening? Why is this happening in this state? What's going on here? Well, why don't you ask this guy? Because according to this guy, eh, things happen. So what? Some kids get shot up at a school. Crisis is crisis. You are not taking away my guns. To all those people who live in the state of Florida who don't demand something be done about gun legislation and getting the guns and keeping the guns out of the hands of these unstable white boys and you don't want to say it, you killed those kids and you're getting exactly what you deserve to Donald Trump who is so obsessed with undoing everything that President Obama did, you wound up undoing a law that maybe would have stopped this from happening you killed those kids and this country is getting exactly what it deserves to the House the Senate and all those other do nothing politicians that are sitting up there playing political football with people's lives they will not take a stand on this gun control stuff for whatever reasons I don't know why they want to continue to arm these unstable chumps with these guns you killed those kids welcome to your new normal white America 17 people mowed down in less than two hours kind of makes you wonder where the shithole country really is this is ktm and the wake up report saying think a little bit it will do wonders for you